Okay, boys, here goes nothing. 40k troops versus Ming with 130k. Will I die? Probably, yes. Hi, everyone, and welcome to today's video where we're going to be continuing the A to Z challenge, the challenge where we play every nation in you for in 1444 with unique national ideas in alphabetical order. And this week, ladies and gentlemen, we kickstart Season L as the nation of Ladakh. Ladakh is a nation located in the northern portion of India right here on a sort of a merger between the Tibetan Plateau, India, and uh, the Persia region over here. And of course, this is an extremely weak nation that gets conquered by all of its neighbors very, very often, pretty much in every game. We start off as Vajrayana right here, and we're going to be conquering Shia, Sunni, Hindu provinces, all the stuff like that. But we start off with this 442 guy, which isn't that bad, and uh, I actually don't know Ladakh national ideas so let's go ahead and check them out right now we got plus two tolerance of the true faith and plus one diplo relations as stars not that bad plus 20 percent fort defense as an ambition we'll take it yearly prestige fort maintenance discount goods produced is really nice construction discounts nice stab discount your legitimacy and trade efficiency so uh we'll take that set of national ideas even though we don't really have any mill ideas in our national ideas whatsoever but what do we do as Ladakh well someone's commented something very interesting that I thought was uh kind of funny but also kind of sad as well as you all know this region right here is uh, contested in the present day by the nations of India, Pakistan, and uh, China, funnily enough. So uh, why not today get this video banned in three countries and uh, try to conquer Islamabad, Delhi, and Beijing in order for uh, them to stop contesting us? Ah, uh, please, please don't be demonetized. And before we begin, if you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like. It really helps out a lot. And if you like the content and want to see more videos like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of them. Let's jump in as Ladakh. All right, right here we are as Ladakh, and the provinces that we're going to need to conquer, man, are basically this province right here, which is uh, Rawalpindi, uh, basically just south of Islamabad right there. So this is like Pakistan's capital. Of course, we got Delhi right here, which is uh, India's capital. And uh, of course, uh, <laughs> we, we have Beijing right here. We're going to have to fight Ming, Pain. Of course, uh, getting this from Kashmir should be easy enough. Getting this from uh, Sirhind when they formed Delhi is not going to be that easy. And uh, taking over Ming is pretty much going to be impossible. What? Why did I even try to do this goal? All right, monastic education, time for estate stuff. All right, estate stuff pretty much done. Funnily enough, we can sell and seize as well. Can we convert something that is never going to get converted? Are we making any money? We are making some money, so I am actually going to get a mill advisor here. I'll take that discipline guy, sure, and let's rival uh, Gugay, Kangra, and Kashmir. All right, uh, I'm immediately going to start uh, spying on Kashmir right here, improving with the Timurids, and can we get any allies, man? I doubt it. Calm, sure. I'll take these guys, man, as long as Ming doesn't fight them and try to PU them and uh yeah force limit is uh six funnily enough we do have a horse i am gonna go ahead and get rid of him and let's go ahead and get uh three more infantry regiments of course uh you know we're gonna try and fight Kashmir first and hopefully the timurids don't declare because uh well they usually do well sharug died very fast uh are these guys disloyal that's good for me right ah my king delhi declared on Kashmir reconquest can't even declare on them, man. All right, we got a spy network on uh, these guys. Let's go ahead and claim that immediately. I am going to give my ruler or heir. Yeah, I'm going to give my heir mill command right here. Boom. Oh, actually, he's really good. 3312. I'll take that. So let me just uh, wait for a day. And I should have the CB on these guys. Nope. All right, there it is. Now we have it. Is someone standing in Morgala? No one is. So let's go ahead and declare immediately. We should be able to nap this before Delhi does. Easy. All right. <laughs> They're also fighting Sir Hand losers i'm getting a free company i'm taking no chances here i have acquired additional amounts of pain in my body because we do not have feudalism either all right we've beaten these guys up and they're not fighting delhi anymore because delhi doesn't exist but it exists uh sir Hen beat delhi and they formed delhi which is why they're not at war with uh kashmir but that's our first war done and 33 percent of our goal is done because we have islamabad right here which is this province all right now we can embrace feudalism as well we are bigger we may be able to ally someone else we'll see where we're at with uh that but uh yeah let's go ahead and lower army maintenance and try and find some more allies i gotta try and find a big ally somehow a delhi rival Jhanpur, multan and malwa can we marry these guys we actually can so let's uh improve with multan as well and uh with malwa too actually the thing that's really messing us up is that we're vajrayana man can we flip hindu or something we can fork tibet that's uh that's not something that we're not gonna do we might do this if we get all the provinces maybe a diplo rep guy will help do i have one? Oh, i do Oh, sweet. Yeah, now that I've real married John Poor, we can easily ally them. Sweet. All right, they will definitely help us out fight Delhi. They have strong allies. Eh, we can take these guys, honestly. Uh, Meanwhile, I'll stop improving with Multan because they don't like me. And I'll just uh, spy on Kongra right here. Dude, spawning of the Renaissance here is going to be a nightmare. <laughs> All right, well, there's the alliance with John Poor. 
we probably can't get Malwa. And yeah, no unique missions, by the way. So yeah, what I'm gonna do right now is uh, continue my conquest by fighting Congo right here. They're all like the Garwal. I may vassalize them or something like that. All right, I've beaten both of these guys up. I'm gonna annex these guys and make the other guys Garwal, right? Uh, my vassal. Yeah, that's right. All right, there we go. Easy enough. Let's deal with the rebels, huh? Sure. Interestingly, we have a core on Guge and the gold mine is here too, man. This could definitely bankroll our conquest. Guge is allied to Limbo One, Yu, and Kam. Uh, but I'm also allied to those guys. Would anyone help me? Tsang would help me if I had favors with them. And with them, we... Kind of tricky right here. I don't know if we'll be able to beat them. We should be able to though, right? Four nations though, kind of weird. All right, so I do have tech over a lot of these guys, man. If it's a time to strike, it's now. I am going to go ahead and declare on Guge reconquest for that and i'm gonna call in saying uh hopefully they can deal with calm and these guys while i deal with Guge. let's see my vassal is actually helping out quite a lot let's peace out limbo one do that all right done pretty annoying war honestly luckily i didn't expend too much manpower but now we got our core back and now we have a gold mine too man we're gonna have to have a glacier everyone oh was this invite a llama to settle in our country talking about the dalai llama of course not about the animal lose prestige the event messenger returns from tibet let's see what happens i've actually never done this all right there it is messenger returns from tibet agree we lose money lose admin points lada gets great monastery until the end of the game local dev discount and we gain llama tolerance and legitimacy except the monks missionary strength for a while you know what let's agree man it's a cool unique thing that i guess doesn't happen for a lot of nations why not uh, lean into the whole thing yeah so my plan right now is to push through to tsang and then fight you because they're allied to Kam and then take stuff from Kam as well so I can border Ming and become their tributary. And maybe then I can fight some other Ming tributaries. Wait for them to blow up. I have no idea how we're going to deal with these guys, man. And we still got Delhi, too. This one shouldn't be too difficult, though, with John Poor's help. They do have a lot of allies, though. I need some more allies myself, man. John Poor, Malwa, Chagatai. Can I ally Chagatai? No way. All right, record this up. Let's go ahead and state that. And activate Encourage Dev. All right, already making lots of cash. We need to bump it up two more times, though. All right, so Delhi just declared a Mewar and some other nations. Actually, quite a few nations that's like five uh this might be a good time to hit them man honestly let's wait and see what happens here i think i can bump up my uh army as well tier two government form time we're a tribal nation by the way tribal monarchy uh not a very good one income from vassals who cares uh let's go for martial society okay so uh if i declare on delhi right here baluchistan and jeanpur would help out we are still less than they are but i think because they're busy with the southern war and they're not that good on manpower i think we can take them now i do have a claim on this one province i am gonna set delhi as a province of interest right here hopefully jeanpur transfers it over to me or i get there first but if not uh, i'm just gonna take some stuff up here and then take it in a later war but yeah let's go ahead and declare on delhi man Hopefully, Junpur will go for Bengal first. Let's declare for uh, Thir Moore right there. Yeah, there it is. Ugh. All right, I did get to Delhi first, so that is not going to be a problem. Sweet. All right, so we've knocked out Bengal and Sindh. Shout out Junpur for that. But now they're suffering. Well, I was going to say they're fighting the Timurids because the Timurids declared on Multan, but I guess they just pieced out pretty quickly. All right, I was about to dip here because I thought Junpur was going to dip, but no. Actually, we're good. <laughs> All right, so these guys are about to siege back Delhi. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and peace out here, man. So what we're going to do right here is pretty much take Delhi. And I think that should be about that for now. Uh, Delhi is a Sunni nation. Are we going to fight any Sunni nations fast? No, man, we're not. We're going to fight Vajrayana and Hindu guys. But this is still, it's 80 AE, man. Uh, I'm not going to take, uh, well, actually, I'm not going to take either of this. I'm just going to take these two. Yeah, because I can get connected through Garwal. But I can't walk through Delhi. Yeah, I gotta do this. I gotta do this. Yeah, yeah, let's do war reps and money too. All right, well, that's done. Yeah, so now the plan is to chill, spawn the Renaissance in Upper Doab, and uh, then we'll see where we go from there. We do need to push into Tsang. But uh, the first two wars have been pretty easy so far, man. I'm, uh, of course, the one with uh, Kashmir or whatever was going to be easy, but this one with Delhi wasn't that bad either. Uh, I'm just wondering how much will we have to grow before we hit Ming? They've already passed the first uh, Celestial Reform, so it would be a good time to fight them now, but I'm nowhere near strong enough, man. I need like probably like 50k troops to take them down, honestly. All right, I've stated up Upper Doab. I haven't caught Delhi yet, but I am going to turn it into a state. I can't. I can't turn it into a state, right? Yeah, I need to core everything first. Ah, 
But look at our money situation. I guess all you need is a gold mine. And I've already started pushing for the Renaissance. I had excess mill points and I also uh, expanded infrastructure. Pretty cheap right here. Too bad it's not a center of trade, but we'll have colonialism in like Delhi or something. Right, man, making all of this money, still no advisors. I'm actually really stupid. <laughs> Let's get that guy. Let's get that guy. Let's get that guy. All right, court up Delhi. Now we can go ahead and state this. Full core it and activate encourage dev. Everything to save a few, uh, you know, points of dev. But uh, yeah, now we can go ahead and start pushing this, man. We should be able to get it right away. And I think I am i'm gonna dev uh equally yeah there it is there's the renaissance we can embrace it right away boom there we go and we should be able to sell it to like john poor oh when did they grow this big either way not my problem let's offer knowledge sharing to them make even more money sweet all right but yeah now i'm gonna declare on song even though wait I can't lose two stab. Let me scornfully insult them. All right, now let's go ahead and declare. I do have a royal marriage, but who cares? I'm going to call in Janpur. Who are we fighting? Lots of guys. All right. All right, work here is pretty much done. Janpur dipped because uh, they got beat up by pretender rebels. But uh, I think I can go ahead and full annex song over here. Shouldn't be too much AE. And they are... Uh, Vajrayana, so yeah, we're chilling. Sweet. Oh yeah, two, three, go reform time. Let's go with uh, religious society. Just to annex my vassal as well. All right, Amantek five, final. We gotta go quantity first here. Yeah. Since I'm not allied to Janpur anymore, I am gonna attempt to get good relations with Bengal. They're the new power. All right, so I am gonna get a move on here and declare on you, which is allied to come. Obviously, I'm not gonna co-belligerent them because then Ming would come in. But after this, man, I am gonna gain a border with Ming. And uh, if they ask for me to be their tributary, I'll just accept. If they declare war on me for me to be their tributary, I will, you know, abide and be become their tributary pretty much. But yeah, this is to gain a border with Ming. Let's get it. All right, this war is done. Wasn't difficult or annoying. It was just super long because of the two uh, level three, you know, mountain forts and stuff like that. But what I'm going to do right here is full annex both of these guys. No. Can I separate piece calm with co-belligeranting them? Can I do? I guess I'm going to have to do that. I actually do want that fort right there. So that's what I'm going to do. All right, there's calm out. Uh, they were Vajrayana as well. And uh, there's you. I'm going to full annex them too. All right. Any risk of a coalition? Nah, not really. But now I do border Ming and uh, they will accept for me to become their tributary, which is something I am going to do. And there we go. The diplomat is back and we will become a Ming tributary. Awesome. Uh, sweet. Now they won't fight us. Big nations will declare on us like the Timurids, Yarkon, Chagatai, Bengal. Uh, we're protected defensively and we can expand uh, pretty much in this area right here. Maybe we'll see what we can do. Uh, oh, I can actually ally um, Bengal too. Sweet. But yeah, now that I've quartered this up and started building some castles in some relevant provinces to prevent Ming from pushing into my country, we can actually go ahead and form Tibet. So uh, Lhasa becomes our new capital, which is this province right here. That's not that bad. Uh, Perma claims on some stuff, new traditions and ambitions. Hopefully some mill ideas, man. I don't know what Tibet has, but uh, I think this is my first time forming Tibet. Maybe not. Let's see what it has to offer. Yes, please. Nice color right there. I like that. Let's take a look at Tibetan ideas, minus one national rest, missionary strength, advisor discount, tab discount, land leader shock, production efficiency, tolerance, diplorap, discipline, idea cost. They aren't that good. Pretty much uh, not. Oh. All right. We do have unique missions, but they're pretty much just conquer this, get claims on that. Nothing we can use too much. I don't think anything else changed, man. We're still a tribe. There's still not a lot of mill ideas. Yeah, this this didn't really change much. We got a cool flag, though. I'm going to go ahead and fight Karadal because they have no allies and I just got claims on them. Karadal's done. We can full annex them. All right, I'm going to steal Chagatai's maps of North China. Nice. The Dalai Lama takes control. Turn inward and create a peaceful Shangri-La. The type of government changes the, the theocracy. We become a kingdom. Diplomat monthly autonomy change. Gov cap. Blah, blah, blah. Monastic orders. All right. Chastise our treacherous neighbors. You know what? It's theocracy Tibet time, everyone. Boom, just like that. We've become a clerical state. Oh, uh, there we go. Plus one that. Hmm, do we get this? Now, this is fixed the Dutch ring. We don't want to be a monastic order, but we can actually uh, take some excellent reforms right here, man. External mission, recovery speed, fort defense. Fort defense would be really good, and a missionary would be great as well. We don't want the commercial mission. Yeah, we want to go with uh, external or mission of protection. I'm actually going to go with that. All right, uh, let's see what we take for tier three later. Probably more missionary strength or education of the court yeah i did want cheaper forts though since i'm gonna have a lot of them but uh there you go monastic order tibet everyone this is guy this is probably the dalai lama right oh i air needed a tibet <laughs> i guess we're choosing our new dalai lama uh sure. Are we actually playing as the dalai lama here <laughs> what's going on <laughs> that, that's pretty cool i mean you can play as the pope right bengal just broke their alliance with me and now i'm losing money too many forts i guess thanks ming i actually didn't even know i had that <laughs> So I'm going to declare on Kathmandu now. Uh, yeah. 
Oh, uh, I think we're pretty much done here. There's Kath, man. Do it's ours. We're still not powerful enough to fight Ming, man. And now, even without an ally, with the Timurids warning me I can't fight anyone here, we can take a mission at least. There we go. Very nice. And I need to watch when these guys pass the second Celestial Reform. We might be able to hit them then. I don't see how we could do that. They're actually... They are pretty strong, to be honest. Should I go religious here? We are kind of using admin points a lot, but... I I don't know what else I would use. Yeah, religious frick it. I am going to focus on admin, though. This has actually got to be one of the worst trade nodes in the world, man. Everything exits. I didn't even know about it. Can I steal these guys as maps of South China? No, but what about Xinan? Actually, I can. Oh, there it is. Nice. All right, I'm going to hit calm right here to wrap up the first uh, branches of the mission tree. This should be very easy. Ming just lost 50 mandate for some reason, and they didn't pass the second reform. I wonder what can cause that to happen. Did Oirat, like, stop being a tributary? I can't even see Oirat. Manchu. Oh, Manchu formed? Okay. And Oirat, I haven't discovered them, but they're not a tributary. I need to discover, uh, Mongolia. Yeah, let's keep spying on Chagatai and see what happened. But yeah, uh, we, yeah, we, they got a truce with Oirat. They aren't a tributary, and Manchu exists. If I can see those guys and maybe ally one of them. But yeah, calm is done yeah there we go now we can take a mission i think yeah unite eastern tibet prestige and we've united tibet the center of trade in dege is increased by one where's dege all right there you know what i can't be bothered to bump it up to level two so let's go ahead and take that uh step politics we can't do that yet can't do that yet either all right ming is starting to get some a little bit of rebels we got confucian zealots right here everything else is good with them though i think except for mandate but it is growing yeah we gotta discover Oirat and manchu real quick i think they're planning on fighting someone as well we can see that right here. Meanwhile, tier three cover form. Let's go with uh, the cheaper ideas, actually. It will help out a bit. All right, I think I can steal some more maps. Uh, let's steal them of uh, Mongolia. No units adjacent. Fine. Now I can steal maps, Mongolia? Mongolia. Yeah, there we go. All right, we learned about Mongolia. Or oh, it's too small, man. Chagatai is kind of big, but uh, these guys, Mont Manchu is a tributary. Let's see. Oh, Orad is, and I can ally them. If we could ally Chagatai, man, but we're already rivaled. But apparently we've gotten step politics. The event meeting with the Khans happens. Okay, establish a report with the nomads. Uzbek, Chagatai, Orad like me. Invite the Kalka Mongols. What is this? All right, we can become Kalka or Koshud. I've heard about these nations, man, but I don't want to be a horde. We don't really have the good provinces in order to become a horde, right? We're in like these mountains and stuff like that. Maybe this is better if like we own stuff up here, right? But nah, I'm definitely not doing this or this. One country changes enough. We can remain as Tibet. And let's just make these guys like me more. Maybe I can ally some of them. I've already allied or at. I wonder if I can ally Manchu. Oh, they don't like me. I'll improve with these two guys, though. Apparently, we've converted Kashmir, too. We gained some claims on that ah of course the nation of orat your faithful ally is requesting that you come to their aid in the ming conquest of chahar against ming this is a defensive war where we need to help our ally all right so let's take a look at the situation man ming is at 43 mandate uh right now national unrest yeah right now they don't suck right now they don't suck that much mandate needs to be a lot lower One hundred and forty thousand troops 40k manpower i got like 20 something k oh, that sucks now what? Uh, we have to somehow unrival Chagatai, but even they, they aren't that strong. How did Uzbek get this? Can we ally Uzbek? Uzbek doesn't even know about me. They're not, not. All of these guys suck, man. Maybe I should have gone a whore, but we don't have the right provinces. All right, it's a new day for me. Why am I so yellow? I guess the lighting is different, but uh, where were we? Right, we we're trying to fight Ming. How strong am I? Not that strong. How rich am I? Not that rich either. Alrighty then. Right, I think I actually wanted to unrival Chagatai. Let me try and steal Ming's maps of Manchuria. How big is Manchu? They're not strong at all. And they're already a tributary, right? All right let me see if unrivaling Chagatai will do anything. Let's just rival like Bengal. Ah, Ming just declared on Chagatai. That sucks. Yeah, I think our best bet is here to try and build up as much as we can. Wait for them to pass the second reform and then hit them. In the meantime though, I think I'll fight Gorka here. We haven't fought anyone in a while. Let's steal maps of Shinon. Uh, no units adjacent. Now let's steal maps of Shinon. Okay. Hmm. Rebellion. All right, this war is done. Let's nab some more provinces, I guess. Yeah, there we go. Now something else I think I'm going to do is declare on Kumaon right here, who's allied to Delhi. Maybe take some stuff from Delhi as well. We'll see. Delhi's actually super weak. No, no troops, no manpower. We could just carpet these guys very easily. Nice. Okay, easy. Now, what are some good Delhi provinces? These three right here, huh? So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, yeah, that's not bad at all. I'm going to take that one as well. Risk of a coalition. Oh, the Timurids? No, I don't want the Timurids in. <laughs> there we go. 
Done. All right. Unfortunately, we got a really strong main this campaign. Look at their tributaries, man. And uh, they're doing pretty well themselves. Low on manpower because they just fought Chagatai. But I'm hoping this will increase pretty fast. They'll pass the second reform and then we'll hit them. We should be able to beat them up, man. I am a Miltech. I'm, I'm same Miltech. I wonder if I can get ahead somehow. Hmm. Doesn't Ming usually pass these when they hit 80? I think so. Okay, Ming just passed uh, their reform or whatever. Now they're at 22 mandate, which gives them unrest, uh, like 27% less manpower, less merc manpower, less goods produced, but most importantly, fire damage received and shock damage received plus 30%. Now, I think I am ahead of them in Miltech as well. I just took tech 10. That's excellent. Let's see if we can roll for some more generals, uh, but none of these are really good. The guy I already have in charge, the 3-2 guy is the best. Uh, he is in charge. No, no, he isn't. There we go. There's the 3-2 guy. And uh, we can sustain about 10 more troops. But I am a little bit careful with manpower here. The free company is 8. These guys can do a little bit of sieging or something like that. So I am going to get uh, these guys up just like that. And I'm going to put that guy in charge of there. All right. So right here, we're going to activate defensive. And right here, we're going to activate defensive as well. I'm actually going to activate it uh, everywhere that I have forts. So these guys won't be able to get into my country. This is going to be pretty expensive. They should still be able to siege some, some stuff down depending on where they enter. But uh, as long as we fight them. Um, oh, it's still the age of discovery i have the bonus in my capital which is a uh, mountains so i wonder if i can fight them here yeah we'll do the highlands as well do these have defensive uh thingies local defensiveness local dev cause dice roll for attacker that's pretty good yeah we can fight them over here in these forts so let's take these guys there wait for the free company to get up and running and i think i will declare man uh they are our liege cancel tributary will this form a truce that did not form a truce yep there we go uh what's their manpower Pretty high manpower, but deck over them and them at low mandate. Uh, I'm just worried about the size of my army here. I think that's going to be the problem. I wish I had like 60k at least. Ming wants me to become their tributary. I'll decline. Okay, boys, here goes nothing. 40k troops versus Ming with 130k. Will I die? Probably yes. Will I fail? Probably yes. Will we start season L off with an L? Probably yes. But hey, here goes nothing. And let's declare for the mandate of heaven so many forts yeah so what i'm gonna do is wait for them in the mountains here now we're in a little bit of a stalemate right here man we haven't fought a lot of battles in fact we fought two but just with my free company i lost both how did these guys get there i lost both of them but i made a mistake with the cb here man i uh should have declared a regular conquest so we can get ticking war score by the time i i just can't get the beijing man but we can take this mission what happens i guess maybe because i occupied this what happens whatever Maybe I should just abandon my country and beeline for Tibet. We got, uh, for Beijing, I mean, we got, like, two forts before we get there. I can bomb all of them. A good thing is these guys are attritioning a lot because they're stacking all of their troops in mountains and stuff. All right, I am in Beijing. Okay, finally a dub in battle. That's great. Uh, I think we can turn the tide right here. We just got so much to unoccupy, but yeah. So let's go back through this fort. The thing is, I'm low on manpower too. I can slack in like once. <gasps> That's such a good general. This guy's gonna help us win the war, man. I think. Uh, listen, well, if we can we take Beijing in one war is what I'm wondering. Is it possible? It is possible, and it's not even that much AE. All right, I got to give this everything, man. So let's uh, reduce war exhaustion as much as we can. Our max amount of loans is 44. Right now I have eight. Losing so much money, though. Uh, let's take out some more loans. I am going to get the... What's something cheap? Yeah, let's get the Grand Company up. There it is, man. Winning lots of battles. The only thing that can stop us here is manpower. Unfortunately, these guys are out of manpower, so I can't get forts with them. And these guys don't have enough cannons, so I can't bomb with them. But uh, maybe I can assault. Actually, walls are already breached. Well, at the cost of uh, 10k Merc manpower, we got that fort. Now, this sucks. What I don't want is to fight these peasants, and I also don't want them to get the fort. Uh... Maybe I can bomb this and then let these guys stand on it. But that, uh, we still can't do it like that, actually. Yeah, I gotta get back. Uh, I think I'll fight these peasants. I can't let them take Beijing as the thing. Lost a battle somewhere. Ah, uh, the free company. Yeah, I expected. Let's focus on Mill here and, uh, get five generals. So we can slack him one more time. There we go. I got some... <laughs> that six shot guy is gonna kill him, dude. Where do we put him in charge? I guess this army. Yeah, let's fire the bad ones. I wonder if the six shot guy is better than the four four guy. This one is really good too. But what can we do with 16k? We can't beat like 30k. Yeah, let's try and go... Oh, I can't go there. I need to go to Chengdu first. Ah, they unoccupied that. Well, let's hit these guys then. All right, there we go. We got Nanjing as well. All right, 56% war score. They unoccupied Nanjing, but no big deal. I unoccupied myself too. Is this the max we can go for, man? Is this the max we 
can go for. All right, let's see. We need Beijing. So let's just uh, draw a straight line over to Beijing, just like that. Wait, I can do it like this. No, they don't connect there. So that's one, two, three. And that will be one, two, three. It's the same. That's so little aggressive expansion, though. We can take a lot more, but uh, why take a lot more when we don't? Need? Let's get war reps. Let's get all of their money. And uh, I think that should be that. Wow, dude. I didn't think we could do this at all, man. Uh, how many loans? 25. Can we pay off all of them with this money? I don't think so. Lots of corruption, too. Uh, all right. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and, uh, fire all of these generals right now because we don't need them. And, uh, what I'm gonna do as well is, uh, delete all of these forts. Even though we don't need to continue this run, uh, you know, I am gonna try and get my country stabilized a bit. Uh, so, you know, it's not all for nothing and it's not nation ruined. And, uh, with that... I think after capturing Islamabad, capturing Delhi, and uh, capturing Beijing, I think uh, I think we can call this one a success. There we go, you and Wu. <laughs> but yeah, there we go, man. After finally coring up Beijing, we accomplished the third portion of our goal for today, which was, of course, starting as Ladakh to own uh, the provinces of uh, Islamabad, Delhi, and Beijing, because uh, those are the three countries in the present day, of course, which sort of contest this area right here, which, of course, has gotten this video banned in those three countries that I'm talking about. I hope not, and I hope it's monetized, too. But yeah, there we go, man. Start off as Ladakh in these few provinces provinces right here of course our first conquests were easy versus Kashmir right here got a few strong allies that helped us beat up some of the more powerful nations right here such as Delhi shout out John Poor for helping us with that and after some slow expansion over here man and the thing that really got our campaign started was this gold mine right here thank you so much Encourage Dev is still on would you look at that well that's just how uh smart I am and how much I remember but yeah after growing a bit big over here man conquering some guys and gaining a border with Ming we actually became their tributary which is something I did want to do and after that man I wanted to grow quite a bit more but you know these guys in india man after you know it's like four or five nations left here you just really can't fight them because of the weird alliances that they have going on right here so i couldn't expand over here even though i wanted to big timurits in this campaign couldn't push that way huge shagat i couldn't push up and uh all we really needed to do was um you know bide our time wait for the mandate to go down try and fight these guys in mountains i tried that unsuccessfully but in the end what actually won us this war versus ming was just forgetting about everything that they're doing you know letting them attrition over here in the mountains uh, with the defensiveness on and me just beelining straight to Beijing and after we got Beijing well then it became easy and I just sieged down some other forts got this awesome god general right here this 5-4 guy and this guy's really good too 4-4-4-3 four, 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 I'll take that any day and those two guys helped us take down their armies as well but really the success I attribute to them attritioning in the mountains and me going straight for Beijing uh if I didn't have these forts over here or if I tried to siege them down you know pro province by province fort by fort without getting to Beijing I think we probably would have lost but overall pretty straightforward campaign formed Tibet as well didn't really need to do that the ideas weren't that good compared to Ladakh and a mission tree which just gives you claims uh didn't really help us out that much so we didn't even need to form Tibet we could have just stayed as Ladakh but ladies and gentlemen boys and girls I'm happy to say that this campaign as Ladakh in A to Z has been a success and that has been Ladakh the first nation in season L in A to Z let me know in the comments below what I should do with this nation next week. If you want to watch me do stuff like this live, you can follow me on twitch.tv slash Live. And if you want to catch up on stuff from over there, you can subscribe to the second channel. Link is in the description. If you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like. It really helps out a lot. And if you like the content and want to see more videos like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of them. And you can become a member today and join the Discord. The link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time with another EU4 video.